here at Pillar Point about to celebrate the opening ceremony of the Titans and Mavericks Big Wave event, competition, and festival. Women have been fighting to get into this contest for a really long time. This isn't the first year that it's been mentioned. They drew up a list of 56 potential competitors, and then a week or two weeks later, they cut it down to 38 surfers. So I made it from the round one list to the round two list, which for me is just so exciting. I feel like it's encouraging because it's kind of saying, hey, you know, you, you could do this. We're watching you. <laughs> That's a huge statement for her to even be in the top 32. That story got picked up by ESPN, by the X Games, by a lot of mainstream outlets that don't normally even cover surfing. The opportunity is definitely there for sponsorship and for more support. I was blown away by how fast that story picked up. One of the surf world's biggest events gets underway this morning under a wave of controversy. The Titans of Mavericks competition in Northern California is a rare contest. It is held only when conditions are just right, but some question why women are missing from this year's lineup. The two women who were under consideration were cut, and so unfortunately there won't be a woman competing. It's not a gender thing. It's a performance thing. And are women there yet? And women just aren't there yet. I think any organization, if there's no women at the top, it's harder for the opposite gender to say, like, let's open it up for them. It occurred to me that perhaps the best thing to do would be to bring it to the attention of the California Coastal Commission. Those arguments saying there aren't enough women, they don't serve well enough, they maybe used to hold true, but now those excuses don't work anymore. I've seen uh, Savannah Shaughnessy for sure, we've served together, Jamila Starr, and I've seen Maya from Brazil, and I've seen Bianca, and I've seen Rena Delgado. These are amazing women athletes and they deserve an opportunity to surf this event, this exclusive event, in a women's heat. So I would strongly urge you guys to consider that. The more pressure that someone can put on the committee to consider the idea, uh, the better. I can't imagine surfing a heat with four or five other women at Mavericks. It would be such a cool, amazing experience. My understanding of what the Coastal Commission wants is more women involved in Mavericks. We've had women judges, we've had women in our water patrol and water rescue. The state agency charged with overseeing public use of the coast is demanding change. It recently voted to require Clark and his team to come up with a plan to allow women in the competition by next year. It was a 7-4 vote in favor of the conditions. So women are now going to be included.